ancient of days, Alpha Omega, Daddy, I give you praise. Lord, I want to thank you for your faithfulness. I want to thank you for your power. I want to thank you for your glory. I want to thank you, God, for the things you are set to do today. Eyes have not seen it. Ears have not heard it. It has not entered into the heart of any man what you have prepared for the people that you love. And today, Daddy, we want to experience your power. Daddy, today we want to experience your love. That we want to experience, oh God, your Shekinah glory on this holy mountain today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ancient of this Alpha Omega, let everyone, oh God, that will come onto this holy mountain testify of your faithfulness. Testify, oh God, that indeed your God, your good, and that your mercies endure forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, I ask, oh God, that today, let your power alone be seen. Let your mercy, O oh God, be contacted on this holy mountain like never before in the name of Jesus Christ. Agbani Lagbaton, Asoromayon, the known and the big breasted God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the first and the last. Let everyone, O oh God, that will come onto this mountain, Jehovah, live, O oh God, with a testimony. Let them live, O oh God, with a testimony that there is none like unto you, that you are the first and the last, that you are the beginning and the end, in the name of Jesus Christ. I start to decree and to declare, my Father, my God, I decree and I declare on this holy mountain, anyone and everyone that will come onto this holy mountain with any form of backwardness, with any form of pain, shame, with any form of stagnation of any kind, of any type. Even as we pray today, Lord, let such powers be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, let such powers nagaya dalagaba ezege deli makato ozantere balikato zikaba let such powers be destroyed by fire by force in the name of Jesus Christ karalados o balemo sikaba nentele keteli kaya dali o zagaba delios kaya jeketeli mosukaba daddy keep us focused today ancient of this keep us focused alpha and omega keep us oh god in line with your perfect will for our life in the name of jesus christ i bind any form of distraction i bind i bind any form of distraction of any kind of any type to the glory and honor of your name in the name of jesus christ most high god beginning and the end first and the last Wipe away tears, O Lord, on this holy mountain. Daddy, indeed, wipe away tears. And let everyone that will come onto this holy mountain testify that they have met with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. On this holy mountain, I reveal your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I reveal your name, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Most I God, first and the last, beginning and the end. Daddy, come, O God, and take your place. And do what ye alone can do, eternal rock of ages. And let every man leave this mountain with that assurance that you are God and that you are good and that your mercies endure forever. Somebody under the sound of my voice, as you're joining us today, I do not know how many times you've gone through a deliverance session. I do not know how many times you have believed God for a turnaround. But this month, expect your August visitor. Expect that August visitor from the throne of God, that particular angel on assignment, that will bring every letter written concerning your life to full manifestation in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God is moving. The presence of God is here. Hallelujah. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Karala Dayagaba, Marshan Taraba, Ledreleke Bari Matoso. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Magade Kayendalios, O Zagabalimoso Kabatali, Negreke Nibaliandali Katoso, Zogayadalagaba, Maragadalagaba, Maragadalagaba, Jeke Kali Brantali Mosokaba, Rebalagadayagaba, O Zagade Malikatalios, Ideli Mosokaba, every stronghold of any kind, of any type, in the life of anyone, everyone. Coming onto this holy mountain, every stronghold I pull down in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold I pull down, Maragade Malikato Sikaba. Every stronghold I pull down, Maran Talimo Sikaba. Tell you, is Jage Delibon Sikaba. Wherever that stronghold is in your marriage, in your business, wherever that stronghold is in the, in the area of conception, in the area of healing. Where is that Magadalagaba? Marshan Talibo. Whatever you're struggling with right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God manifests in your life. Expect that healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Expect that healing. Man Dagadalagayadalagaba. Zagadalagaba Debalos. O Zaketelimosikaba. Irrespective of what has been said. Twice on a remarkable note, twice. On a remarkable note, twice. God has given me the grace to agree with someone that the medical doctor told that what was inside of her womb was not a child, but it was fibroid. And we started to pray. We prayed. The first child was given birth to, it was not fibroid. 23 years old as at this year by the grace of God. The second child, that one is in America. The second child giving birth to here in England, 11 years going to 12, 11 years by this year. The first one a female, the second one a male. Today I spoke with somebody in Denmark, the doctors told her because of the kind of accident she had, because of the accident she had and how serious that accident was. In fact, people thought that she was dead, but she started to plead with people that she's not dead, she's still alive, they should help her. By the time she got to the hospital, the doctor said she will not be able to walk again. The doctor said she will not be able to even conceive a child because of the damage. Today, I was speaking with her. As God took me down to Denmark and we prayed, I agreed with her during that special program in Denmark, 2004. 2014 to 2014 i told her the words that the lord said i should tell her that she should not she should forget about whatever has happened in the past she should set her mind forward that the lord was going to do it today by the grace of god she is married she is walking about she is married she has finished her education she has two children in fact 2014 the Lord used me, I spoke and I prophesied into her life. Two years after, 2016, she had her first child. Three years after, she had her second. And by today, she, is, she has finished, she went back to school, she graduated, and she is working. I spoke with her today in Denmark. Today, if only somebody the Lord is bringing to this mountain will try not to focus on your past try not to focus on the past let the backwardness go with backwardness focus on your front focus on going forward focus on where the spirit of god is leading you focus on where the word of god is taking you focus on the word of god you're the next person to testify in the name of Jesus Christ, you are the next person to testify. Everything about your past, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will recompense you as you walk with God in the future. If only you will choose God in your future. If only you will stand shoulder to shoulder with Jesus Christ. I can assure you here and now in this service that you will encounter the power of God. You will encounter the mercy of God. 
Anulatoro. It is the mercy of God that made God to prepare Jesus Christ for us even while we were yet a sinner. Whilst we were yet in sin, Christ died for us. All what we are asking for is the mercy of God. The mercy of God, the glory of God, the power of God. Man, Tokosa, Ibraneketelios, Ozagademali Katalios, Rukayen Dali Brantalios. As far as man of God, woman of God, you're ready to walk with the Holy Spirit. As far as you're ready to merge up with the power of God on this holy mountain. As you're ready to focus on God and not man. I see God give you a testimony in the land of the living. I see God give you a testimony in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus Christ. Death could not hold Jesus captive. The power that made death not to hold Jesus captive. That power is present on this mountain today. That power is present Romans chapter 8 verse 11. Romans chapter 8 verse 11. That power that raised Jesus from the grave from the dead. That power is here. It will lift up your business. It will lift up your marriage. It will lift up your finances. It will lift you up from that sick bed. It will lift you up from that backwardness. From that powers of darkness. Evil altar, evil prophecy. And will bring you into the lamb light of the glory of God. I release the power of God upon somebody right now. I release the mercy of God, the power of God. I release the power of God upon somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. Your life cannot remain the same again. Your life cannot remain the same again. Everyone type in, I soak you with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Everyone type in, Maragadalagaba. Everyone pressing, everyone pressing the emoticons. Everyone pressing the like, everyone pressing the like button. Everyone that God is using right now to, to fulfill his purpose. To fulfill his purpose, everyone that is walking with the Holy Spirit, Ragadalagaba, you will leave this mountain testifying. Hallelujah. Yes, Ma Barie Kayandali. You're leaving this mountain testifying, man of God, woman of God. You're leaving this mountain testifying that God is good. Mangadayagaba. Zeketeli Mosikaba. Mandali Bos. Pandunelli and I soak you Pandunelli with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Mare Kayes. O Zagade Malikaya. Ma Brekele Bosikaba. Robale e Kayandali Mosikaba. E Zeketeli. Everyone putting in prayer. Everyone putting in prayer, prayer. Everyone putting in prayer, prayer, prayer. The power of God. The mercy of God. The power of God, the mercy of God is upon you right now. Jekatalios, Ozan Terema Katali, Rege de Lianga Yadalabo, Mashaga Dalaga Yadalagaba, Mashaga Dalaga Dayagaba, Mashaga Dalaga Dayagaba. Heavens, your heavens are open. You under the sound of my voice, man of God. You under the sound of my voice, man of God, your heaven is open. In the name of Jesus Christ, your heaven is open. Malaga Yadaba. You that have been stuck with your past it's a new month it's a new beginning for you it's a new month it's a new beginning for you anyone that is carrying any form of curse in the name of jesus christ let me tell you man of god man of god the lord started today for me personally god is my witness the lord started today for me with a miracle something i've been looking for for the past days weeks and I have evidence. I showed my evidence to the person God brought my way. That I am not joking. I've been looking for days, weeks. Do you know the Lord kept it for today for me? I'm starting a new month with an, a miracle. And that is a big proverb. I am telling you, you did not come into this broadcast by mistake. You did, I am telling you, you are starting this month with a miracle. You are starting this month with a blessing. You are starting this month with the evidence that God is real and true. The Lord proved himself to me. Not that I'm in doubt of who God is. Not that I don't know that God exists. But what God did today. Ah, God bless my people. My people, my Nigerian people, Yoruba speaking people. Ah, Oluwa Jomilo Juloni. My God surprised me. He gave me one of the greatest surprises of my life. Somebody 
Start the word, surprise me, O Lord. If you believe it, key into that word, surprise me, O Lord. It's the month of August. It's an August, August visitor, August miracle, August blessing. What you never expected. What the enemy thought can never be allocated to you. When they were counting or anticipating, you were not one of those anticipated to have such a blessing. But I see my God, he who see in the secret, he who knows the heart of every man, he who knows the conscience, he who knows what every man is harboring and carrying in their mind. Surprise me, oh God. Somebody join me. Cry to this God, not man. Surprise me, Shandelegada. Jomilo Jumaba. Surprise me. I see God surprising you. Kare le delimos. O Zalaga yen talios. O ragaba and delikaya dalimosikaba. Everyone put in surprise me, O Lord. I soak that statement you're making with the power, with the fire and the power of the Holy Spirit. As you are saying, surprise me, O Lord. The power of God starts to surprise you in the land of the living. Man, kare balios kaya. Jeketeli baradalios. Jeketeli barandalios. Surprise me, O Lord. Nagadalagadalam. And I see God surprising you. Teliakaya, Matoso, Donika Deli, Manga Yada Nagaba, Mabroko Sukayaba, Jegedele Mosika, Indrele Ketelio, Oragaba Legayada Nagaba, Oragaba Legadayanaba. As you're saying it and you mean it, as you're saying, surprise me, O oh God. My God surprise you. My God surprise you in the land of the living. Esther chapter 5, verse 1. Esther entered. Esther entered to see the king, and the Lord surprised her. Esther met with the surprise that could make anybody faint. She thought she would meet with death, but she met with prosperity, wealth, and lifting up. I prophesy to your life, man of God, woman of God. Before now, I know the year would have been somehow. The year would have closed itself somehow in your life. You're entering to this month like Esther entered to see the king in Esther chapter 5 verse 1. But I know that the God who surprised me today, first thing this morning, the God who gave me a pleasant surprise, has a surprise for you too. He has a surprise for you. And it will be a pleasant surprise. What you have been doing, what you have been trusting God, what you have been moving and you have been trusting God, whatever you have been involved in and you are looking up unto God, I am assuring you, Karaladayakaba, Ozagadali Katalio, that my God will surprise you in this month. This is the month. My God will surprise you in this month. And you will recover all that you have lost. Don't look back. Remember what we did yesterday. Don't look back. For everyone that looks back will turn to a pillar of salt. Anyone that looks back will turn to a pillar of salt. Genesis 19 verse 26. Genesis 19 verse 26. Genesis 19 verse 26. Somebody drop it into the house for us, please. Please, somebody drop it into the house. Genesis. Genesis 19 verse 26. Don't look back. Magadalagaba. Meshegedele baragadayos. Ozanteremo koliangadalie. Don't look back. Magadalagaba. Face where you are going with the Holy Spirit. The wife of Lot looked back. Shakat alaba. Somebody is keying into the prophecy. I can see somebody say, I can't wait. You don't need to wait anymore. God wants to surprise you. You don't need to wait. I woke up this morning and the Lord surprised me. There was no need for waiting. I removed the word wait in your life. You don't need to wait. You've been waiting from the beginning of the year. God is surprising you. God is surprising you this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't look back. Don't look back. I almost looked back. When the Holy Spirit gave me the instruction, I almost looked back. I wanted to say something I've been trying for the past how many days, how many weeks? How many? How many days? How many weeks? Holy Spirit just told me gently, do this. I am telling you, somebody, don't look back. Looking back might hinder the miracle. Looking back might hinder the blessing. Looking back, my hinder 
the breakthrough God is about to bring. I tear down every power that wants you to look back. I tear down. I tear down. Somebody will wonder, why did he just go straight into prayer? Why did he go straight into this? We already did the study yesterday. If you check yesterday's broadcast, we already did some study. We saw different scriptures. And we are going into serious download. We want to download blessings. Somebody join me and type the word download your blessings. We want to download blessings. We want to download blessings. Somebody you're under the sound of my voice. It's your turn to be celebrated. It's your turn. Heaven wants to celebrate you. Ragede Mosikaba. Ibrele Makayandale. Ozagaba Deli Katale. It's time to download blessings. Kaka. Mangaga. Jegedeba. Ibrele Kato. It's time to download blessings. Kare Lado Zikaba. Kare Ladale Mosikaba. It's time to download blessings. Kate Moska. Ijele Bakete Limo. Ijele Bakete Limo Sukaba. Ijele Bakete Limo. Ijele Bakete Limo Sukaba. It's time to download blessings. Kara Ladayagaba. Robaba Malikatoso. In Delicayandalios. This is the month. You are no, no need to wait. Don't look back. Don't look back. Follow the instruction of the Holy Spirit. Listen. Anna in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 10 and 11. Verse 10 and 11. Anna came with a heaviness of heart. Self, she had enough things in her back. She has enough story in her history. But Anna refused to look back. Anna came again into the presence of God. Somebody, as you have come again, you have come again into the presence of God. Today, my God will surprise you. The God who woke me up with a testimony. The God who woke me up with a surprise. The God who made a way for me where there seemed to be no way. That God will make a way for you. He will make a way for you. He will fill your mouth with laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. He's making a way for you. Whether you like it or not, He is placing you on that height. He's placing you on that level that every man will join to say it can only be God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't look back. Genesis chapter 19 verse 26 The wife of Lot looked back And became a pillar of fire and Became a pillar of fire in quotes She looked back She died She went off What you simply see physically Assault Ojo Ojo she, she burnt in the spirit And became salt My God Became salt she burnt in the spirit, became salt. As you are marching with my God, you will not become salt. You will not lose your identity. You will not die. You will not die, but live to declare the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. God bless you, man of God. You can see the scripture in Genesis chapter 19, verse 26. She became salt. Burnt, dead, no more movement in one position. You will not die this year. Anything connected to you will not die this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will increase. You will increase. Anna came to the Lord. She had more history. She has more to look back than even the wife of Lot. Anna has history. She has enough embarrassment, but she refused to look back. And she did, was not discouraged to come back into the presence of God. You that you have come to this mountain, you have enough history. You have enough them say, them talk. You have enough backbite. You have enough pain. Yet you come again into the presence of God. Today, the God who gave me surprise. And this surprise, Titi Lai Lai Nyo in Jesus' name. Well, I'm not talking about blessing that will come and leave you. God forbid. Once God opened a door before you, no man can close it. Revelation chapter 3, verse 8. He have, have opened a door before you that no man can close. He has opened a door. My God is opening that door for you. Anna did not look back. Anna came with the pain in her heart. Anna came with the pain in her heart and cried to God. Somebody as you're crying to God, 
may God respond unto you. As you're crying on behalf of your son, as you're crying on behalf of your daughter, as you're crying on behalf of your business, as you're crying on behalf of your home, your marriage, as you're crying on behalf of your community, as you're crying on behalf of your family, as you're crying consigning that circumstance that you cannot share with any soul, the Lord show you mercy. The Lord show you mercy. The Lord show you mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, Anna made a vow. Anna made a vow and did not look back on her vow. Three years after she made a vow, she came and fulfilled the vow. Not looking back, she moved forward. First, she moved forward from the pain and the bitterness in her heart for Samuel chapter 1 verse 10. She moved into the next verse 11 and made a vow to God. And she left with a prophecy. Somebody, you're leaving this mountain with a prophecy. You're leaving. God had to use a lie to prophesy to her life. Somebody's comment today will be a prophecy to you. Somebody emoticons today will be a prof will prophecy to you. Somebody sharing this broadcast today will be a prophecy to you. The man of God speaking will be a prophecy to you. The word of God coming will be a prophecy to you. You are already a prophecy in my life. You are already a blessing in my life. And I'm trusting the Holy Spirit to use me to be a blessing in your life. Somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. You are leaving this mountain excited, full of grace and full of joy. Just listen to the Holy Spirit. It will just come in a soft way. It will come so easy. For Anna, make a vow. For me, he told me, go and check and do so, so, and so. Simple. Follow the Holy Spirit. Follow that voice. And see if God will not open a door before you that no man can close. That no man can close. He will open a door before you that no man can close. Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. Revelation 3 verse 8. Somebody drop it into the house for us if you can. Thank you. Revelation 3 verse 8. God punished the devil. Punish, punish, punish. He said, I know thy works. <laughs> I know thy works. How many of us here, for the past how many months? Eight months now because we are in the eighth month. So for the past seven months, can God say, I know thy works? Can God identify with you? Can God identify with your family? Can God identify with your love? Can God identify with you? Can God say, I know thy works? Somebody start to talk to the Lord. Start to talk to the Lord. If you know your works are the type that God cannot say, I know thy works, there's room to repent. There's room to say, forgive me. Ask for mercy, period. And plead the blood of Jesus Christ. That is it. And you will find the mercy of God beyond what you can bargain for. Beyond what you can bargain for. If you know, you will fall into the category that God cannot say, I know thy works. Maybe your own works is always looking behind. Maybe your own works is complaining to God, look at my friends. Look at my friends. Look at social so, so person. Look at my neighbor. If that's your works, repent now. Because there's nothing God hates like murmuring. There's nothing God hates like doubt and murmur. Today, repent. But everyone that have been believing God, everyone that say, let me try one more time. Let me try, let me try one more time. Anna came and tried one more time. But that one more time, she has done several. But that one more time made a difference. Somebody may your presence today. May the amen you are typing. May the emoticons you are sending out. May that share that as you are sharing the broadcast, may it make a difference in your life. I only obeyed God just to try one thing today. My life has entered into another era. Season. <laughs> Somebody, I see God bring you into a new season. Somebody, please start the word a new season. A new season. A new dawn. A new season. I see a new season. I see a new season for anyone, everyone. Under the sound of my voice, a new season. Season of joy. Season of glory. Season of testimony. Season of increase. I see God saying, I know thy works. I know thy works. Hallelujah. I see God saying, I know thy works. I know thy works. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I see Jesus saying, I know thy works. Hallelujah. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. 
I see God open door for you. Before you is an open door. Go through it. Somebody open doors. <coughs> Excuse me. Open door. Somebody open door. Go through it. My God is opening a door before you. Your doors. Your doors are open. Heaven is open over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This month, the door is open. In the name, I open a door before you. No man can shut it. No man. Somebody, no man can shut it. No man, no backwardness can shut it. No backwardness can shut it. No man can shut it. The door of your destiny is open. The door of your testimony is open. The door of your joy is open. The door of your financial wealth is open. The door of moving from glory to glory is open. No man can shut it. It is too late for you. It is too late for you to run away. It is too late for you to say, Oh God, I don't want. Because he has given you. Praise God. For thou hast a little strength. Everyone that has little strength. If you are the type that easily look back. If you are the type that easily looks back. If you are the type that easily doubts God. Today receive strength. You will not look back again. I know you have little strength. That's what God is saying. For thou hast little strength. But there's something you do that impresses God. Thou hast little strength and has kept my word. Everyone that is keeping the word of God. Even though you have little strength. His grace is sufficient for you. I plead for mercy. I plead the mercy of God upon you. I plead mercy. I plead the mercy of God upon you and your household. Even though your strength is little, even though your strength is little, even though your strength is little, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood, I plead the blood. Everyone that has little strength, the Lord start to what? Empower you. The Lord start to empower you. The Lord empower you. Zeketelimoska. Libra Kadalios. Ozagaba. The Lord empower you. Shantelie Kayandalios. Shantelie Karadalabos. Ozagaba Ebrane Manga Dalaga. Ozaba E Trenemos Kayabateli. Ongagaga Paro Koso. Zekeleba Katalios. Ondrele Ketelimosikaba. O Ragababa. Holy Ghost Power Fire. Holy Ghost Power Fire. Holy Ghost Fire. Your power, the Lord surprise you in the land of the living. The Lord show you that He is God, and besides Him, there is no other. In the name of Jesus, the Lord turn your story around. As He has opened that door before you, He knows you have little strength, but He said you have kept His word. Everyone that has kept the word of God on this mountain, the Lord say He knows you. You have kept His word. The Lord open before you doors. The Lord open before you doors. The Lord open before you doors. The Lord open before you doors that you will go through. Not doors you will only be seen. God gives you wealth that you will be part of. God gives you marriage that you will enjoy. God gives you children that you will not bury. God gives you business that will turn your life around that you will use to affect people positively. The door that my God is opening before you, you will go through that door. You will enjoy that door. You will not just watch that door. You, When you get pregnant, you will bring forth. You will not just get pregnant and miscarry. God forbid. The door, any door my God is opening for you from today, is a door you will enjoy. It's a door you will go through. It's a door that will profit you and profit your household. In the name of Jesus Christ. Karana Dayagama. Risha Keteleos. Ozan Delicatalimosi. Manga Lagadalabos. Manga Dalagadalagaba. Ibare Ketelimosi Kabatali. Look, God opened a door for Ananias and Sipharah as we studied yesterday. Acts chapter 5. Acts chapter 5, verse 3 and verse 5. Two verses. Acts chapter 5. Acts chapter 5 verse 3 and verse 5. Two verses. The Lord opened a door before Ananias. Ananias saw what was being done by other fellow brethren in Acts chapter 4. How they would sell their properties and they would bring everything to the feet of the apostle. So Ananias and Sapphira, they decided that they wanted to key into that grace. And the Lord opened the door for them. And they were able to sell their own property of choice. But they did not do like others. They decided to look back. 
they decided to keep back. Somebody, today, I don't know the blessing God has granted you the grace to be capable of. But I'm praying that that grace that God has made you to be capable of, that you will not keep back. That you will not drop back. That you will not hold back. That everything that God has given you the grace to do, whether for your husband, whether for your wife, whether for your children, whether for your friends, whether for your family, everything God has given you the grace, except it's not God who gave you. If it's God who has given you the grace, give everything and watch what God will do. Give everything. Just give. Don't hold back. Some men of God will say, no, if I preach everything, if I teach everything, they will know everything I know. No, no, no. no. You're meant to give it out. Freely you were giving. Freely deliver. Hallelujah. Freely deliver. You're a custodian of whatever God has given to you. Where, be it money, because when it comes to money, we have a different mentality. But money itself, <laughs> you are just a custodian. Your children, you are a custodian for a time. A custodian you are for a time. After that, those children will do what? Those children will carry on. You will carry on. Those properties that are under your care, you are just a caretaker. And use it while you are alive. And that's why God has given to you, bless somebody. Affect somebody's life. Be a channel of blessing. It only paves way for you. Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 1. It says, cast your bread upon the waters. Cast it. That after many days you find it. The waters, God Almighty. That's the waters. When you give, don't give to boost yourself. Don't give for people to say that you have done it. Give as unto God. Give to honor God. Give so that God alone is honored and glorified. Give as a sacrifice. We call it sacrificial giving. Say, but I've been giving. I'm always the one giving. You know, sometimes when some people come for counseling, they say, I don't know the kind of wife that I have. Always collecting and collecting and collecting and collecting and collecting. Some, most times, sorry to use the word, most times, for women, they would always complain that, what kind of man is this? I'm always giving, I'm always giving, I'm always giving, I'm always giving. I'm always giving. If you give and you do not have the mind that you are giving to God, it can be painful. And there is no reward. But if you give, and you have a mind that you're giving to God, there's a reward. Some parents used to hide. When their children come to buy, they, they hide it. You have to give. You're a custodian. Because God opened that door and the thing came to you. You have to go through the door. Use it. A lot of people, they just look at the door. They say, whoa, what a beautiful door God has opened before me. What a great door. What a wonderful door. But they never go through the door. When you don't use it the way God wants you to use it, then you are only looking at the door. God doesn't expect you to look at the door. As many times as you give to your wife, you give to your husband, you give to your family, you give to your children, you give to the church of God, you give to the work of God, you give to the life of the man of God, you give to your community, you give to your nation. Mirror Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 1 that you are giving to God. Always remember that only God can pay you back. You're giving to God. God opened that door before you. You collected it and you gave it back to him. In the last broadcast, we saw Isaiah 55 verse 11. There are two types of people in this world. Two types. There are two types of people. Those who sow seed. And so they are partners with God. And God would always give them seed to sow. Then there are the second set of people. Those who eat bread. So that's why I say when he releases the rain and the snow to come upon the earth, the earth, he commands the earth to bring forth seed to the sower and bread to the eater. These two, very important. These two, Yoruba will say Kadara, these two is destiny. Nobody chooses to be eating bread only and not be productive. And nobody chooses to be productive. But like we saw in that broadcast, if you check last broadcast or two last broadcasts, you would see that the people who sow the seed, seed, he say give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. They are always not up to 10% of any society. 10%. Those who sow seed, always. I'm sorry to say, go and check. They are not always up to 10%. In some places, they are 1%. 1% of the 100%. 
in a society that God really have mercy on and bless them, they will come close to 10%. But those who eat bread, the consumers, they are always 90. Believe it or not, if that's just the truth. That's just it. We proved it in that broadcast. If you check that broadcast, you would, you would see what I mean. Hallelujah. So, God opens a door before who? Those who will sow seeds. So when you are sowing, you are not sowing into the hands of man. As I'm speaking today, I'm speaking by the grace of God. And I'm checking myself if God is happy with me. So you two that are making comments, you are typing, whatever you are doing, be asking yourself, is this what God expects of me? Am I being truthful to God? All of us need to check ourselves. Then, if you are doing it as unto God, He will open. Bible says that He will open more unto you and unto me. As long as He knows your works. You will see that in Revelation chapter 3, verse 8, the door is open because that God knows the works of that person. He said, I know thy works. No office will employ you without knowing a little about you. That's why they say bring CV. They want to know. In fact, they will tell you to come for interview. There they will read your body language. They will read your mannerisms. They will look at your countenance. They want to know a little bit. Once you start working, still they will still be studying the person. So you cannot fault Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. God said, I know thy works. Somebody, I prophesy to your life. From today, the works that you are going to be doing will be such that God can say, I know thy works. I know thy works. You will not impress man. You will not please man. You will please God. From today as you step out. From today as you step out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I soak you with the power of the Holy Spirit. I soak you, man of God, I soak you. I soak you, woman of God, I soak you with the power of the Holy Spirit. Any time and every time you step out, you step out in power, you step out in honor, you step out in glory. Yes, Ananias was given an open door. Ananias did not go through the door. Ananias went through the door looking back. Ananias went through the door looking back. And because of that, Ananias did not prosper. Ananias did not prosper. Ananias died. Somebody in Jesus' name, you will not sin the sin of Ananias. You will not look back. This month and every other month God will open before you. You are not looking back. Every year you are not looking back. For whatever, backward, never. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of, Je in the name of Jesus Christ. Keshe teli barakatalio. You are under the sound of my voice. You keep losing every time the open door God brings your way in terms of pregnancy. Put your hand. Put your left hand because you probably might be typing. Put your left hand below your abdomen below your abdomen alpha omega i want to just agree in prayers with you alpha omega ancient of days beginning and the end open door before this particular person responding to the voice of your servant that no one can close including the person in the name of jesus christ for your word is here and amen you open today with a miracle for me and you assured me that you are going to do even much more in our lives from today. That he do it to the glory of all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are under the sound of my voice. You have been experiencing this stagnation, this stagnancy in business. You've been experiencing stagnancy in business. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord sent you an angel. The Lord bring an angel your way. That will turn your life around. That will turn God open a door before you. A door that will make up for your weaknesses. A door that will make up for your weaknesses. That will lift you up in the area of weakness. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are in ministry. You are about to draw back. You are about to backslide. As you're hearing this word in Jesus' name, you will never go back. You're moving forward. 
go forward. Ah, man of God, it's not been easy. I've been crying. Go forward. I've been on this journey by the grace of God and His mercy. I've been on this journey full time like this since 1998. 98. 1998. Focus on the Lord. Focus. Your season is here. I didn't say it will come. Take note of my word. I didn't say it will come. I say your season is here. Now. Focus. Focus. It's here. It's here and now. The power of God is opening a door before you. If only can the values, you can make up your mind to walk with God. So that God will say, I know your works. Here in England, they don't joke with reference. No matter your qualification, if you don't have reference, you might not get the job. That is the standard here in England. No matter your qualification, doesn't matter. No matter the class you graduate with, if you don't have reference, you might not get a job. Somebody must say they know you. Somebody must stand for you. Then you get the job. Even if you are not qualified, you could be trained. They will train you. It's not a problem. But somebody must say, I know. From today, everyone that is ready to work with God and not man, so that God will say, I know you. I know thy works. As far as God can say, I know thy works. You are ready to move with God and face forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that lifted Jesus from the grave is here today. Romans chapter 8 verse 11. That spirit of God is here today. The spirit that brought life into the dead body of Christ is here. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto your own understanding. These are the, the people God wants to bless in this month. In this month, people God wants to bless, those who will trust in the Lord with all of their heart and lean not unto their own understanding. People that in all their ways, they will acknowledge the Lord. In all, not some, in all their ways, they will acknowledge the Lord and the Lord will, what? will direct their path. Who are the set of people God wants to bless? 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. The set of people God wants to give wealth and prosperity with responsibility. Remember, in the last broadcast, we said that you can never get wealth and prosperity without responsibility. It's a lie. It's a lie. It cannot happen. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 10. God is giving seed to those who will sow because there are people who will eat the bread. These people take care of those who eat the bread. It's wealth and prosperity with responsibility. That is it. If you are not ready for the responsibility, the Lord will truncate the wealth and prosperity. Prosperity will be truncated instantly. Wealth and prosperity will be truncated if you are not ready for responsibility. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Therefore, the scripture says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, not beside Christ, not behind Christ, not in front of Christ, but in, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. He is a new creature. Somebody, if you are in Christ, you shouldn't remember five years ago. If you follow that scripture, because you're new. You're just new. A new, a new upgraded phone has no idea of the old phone. <laughs> it's only the human being. Who created the upgrade upgraded phone that will know what the old phone looked like? The new phone wouldn't have any idea of what of the old <laughs> of the old phone. Hallelujah. The phone will not have an idea. But you see, with human beings, opposite is the case. Follow me very carefully. 
Let me repeat. If a man produces an upgraded phone, the man alone knows what the old phone is and what the, the new phone is. The man knows. But the new phone has no idea of the old phone. But you see, with God, it's the other way around. I will explain. With God, it's the other way around. Now, God produced myself and you. God is saying we are new. And God is starting with us new. And he has forgiven our sin and cannot remember. The maker, me and you, the God that should remember my own sin and your sin, cannot remember. It is me and you that God has made new. The new phone remembers the sin. Can't you see it's funny? Spiritual things. Is it not funny? Me and you can remember the sin 10 years. We can remember the weakness we expressed 15 years. But God said that myself and you in Christ, we are new. And because we are new, all things are passed away. We are not supposed to remember. God said, I cannot remember. Your sins I have forgiven I blotted out, I cannot remember. The maker say he cannot remember. The upgraded phone say, I remember, sir. I sinned against you. That will not be your portion. If God cannot remember, you cannot remember. You can't remember any failure because you have never failed before. You can't remember any pain because you have never been in pain before. You can't remember because you are a new creation in Christ. You are new. Set for glory. Set for upliftment. Set for breakthrough. Set to move forward, never backward. You will never, you will never, you will never go backward. You will never. Your business is new because you're in Christ. Your family, everything you have planned to do is new because you are in Christ. If any man, conditional statement, if any man, condition in mathematics, we call it conditional statement. If any man be in Christ, find out if you are still in Christ. Check yourself. Am I still in Christ? Check yourself. Am I still in Christ? That's the only criteria. If you are not in Christ, there's no upgrade. But if you are in Christ, your womb has been upgraded. If you are in Christ, your business has been upgraded. If you are in Christ, your family has been upgraded. If you are in Christ, your finances have been upgraded. If you are in Christ, your joy and peace of mind has been upgraded. If you are in Christ, your body has been upgraded. That's why you can never fall sick. Hallelujah. He is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, everything has become new. Somebody please type the word, everything, all things have become new. Somebody type the word, all things are new. All things are become new. All things are become new. In the name of Jesus, all things are become new. Negadalagaba. Rokabandelio saketele. Ondreleka dalimos. All things have become new. Guess what Jesus said? Guess what Jesus said? Guess what Jesus said? If you remain in Christ, you are a new creation. But guess what Jesus said? Come with me to Luke chapter 9 verse 62. Luke chapter 9 verse 62. Come with me. Luke chapter 9 verse 62. Somebody drop it into the house. This is the statement of Jesus Christ. And that's why myself and you need to be very careful in this new month. And as we go towards the end of the year into the new year. We need to be very careful. You have to follow the statement of Jesus Christ. God says if you are in Christ, you are new. But some of us, we tend to tell ourselves, I'm not new. We tend to disqualify ourselves, God forbid. You will not disqualify yourself. You will not in Jesus' name. If any man, conditional statement, if any man be in Christ, are you still in Christ? That's the question. Luke chapter 9 verse 62. Luke 9 62. And Jesus said unto him, he was speaking to one of the people right there at the time. No man having put his hands on the plow and looking back and looking back no man having put his hand on the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of god is fit for the kingdom of god no man having put his hand on the plow and look back is fit for the kingdom of god meaning instantly that man will be disqualified you will not be disqualified in the name of jesus christ you will not be disqualified from the glory of God, from the promotion of God, from that open door God has opened before you, you will not be disqualified because you will not look back. Lord's wife looked back, she was disqualified, she became a pillar of fire. Burnt. She became a pillar of fire straight away. Couldn't move again. Ananias and Sapphira looked back in Acts chapter 5, verse 3 and 5. That was it for them. They died. Ananias died, the wife died. You will not look back in Jesus' name. You will not. 
because you will be fit for the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Kara Nagaiva, Jeketelemos, Orangadelimosikaba. Our the apostle said something that will interest you. Somebody, if Jesus have granted you salvation today, if you are in Christ, don't look back. Somebody tell the word, don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. Type for me seven times. That's the first three for me. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. And that is the seventh one. Somebody type it seven times. Don't look back. Philippians chapter 3 verse 13 and 14. Somebody. Philippians chapter 3. Let us see what the Lord Jesus has got to say through the apostles. Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't consider anything except what God is saying concerning you. End of story. Brethren, the apostle saying here, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, to have achieved anything, to have attained. I do not count myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do, this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, forgetting those things that are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, reaching forth unto those things that are before, I forget those things that are behind, I forget those things that are behind, hallelujah, I press, verse 14 is saying, he said, I press towards the mark of the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I press. I move with all rigor. I move with all focus and seriousness. I move towards the mark of the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Somebody from today, you're going for that high calling. You're moving to that high calling. The Lord make your life brand new. The Lord bring angels your way. I have met with the angel. You might not believe what I'm saying, but I know what I'm talking about. And I don't have to see angel with wings. You might not see angels with wings like Cornelius in the dream. Neither might, you might not see angel like, like Holy Mary saw. So a Cornelius saw angel in the dream, Acts chapter 10. Okay? And Mary saw an angel, Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1 verse 35, the angel said the Holy Spirit will come upon you. But there are some of us, the angel God will send to you will be a human being, flesh and blood, but it's an angel. Somebody, the angel on assignment, bringing your August gift, bringing your August blessing, bringing your August upliftment is on the way. Get set to receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to do what? Don't look back, but look forward look up unto what unto the calling of christ jesus in your life in the name of jesus christ thank you blessed redeemer somebody join me say thank you lord god almighty i press to the word to the high calling somebody the high calling press to the high calling i press to the unto the high calling i press to the high calling i press towards the mark of the price of the high calling of god in christ jesus that's what i'm pressing to us in the name of jesus Christ. and everyone that is pressing to us such mark right now the mercy of god the power of god 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 sort things out for you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ, 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 everyone that needs healing, start to ask for whatever you want God to do right now, everyone that needs a touch, forget about how many times you've taken that tablet, how many times you've been to the hospital, forget about anything, just look forward now, look forward and embrace the healing that Jesus has made available for you, has made available unto you and your and your family and your loved ones. Focus on that healing. Focus on the healing God is bringing your way. Focus on that healing. Focus on the healing. Focus on the healing of God for you and your household. Focus on that healing. 
The power of God is upon you, the mercy of God. The power of God is upon you, the mercy of God. The power of God is upon you right now. Focus, focus on it, focus. Focus on the healing, focus. Focus on the healing, focus. Focus on the healing. I command you that I've been having a repeated, undefined, excruciating pain. Undefined, excruciating pain around your abdomen. I command that pain in the name of Jesus Christ to dry up now. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that pain to dry up from his fountain in Jesus' name. You're under the sound of my voice. You're contemplating whether you should take that job or not. You're asking, you're asking your spirit, should I go for it or not? It's an open door. Remember what the Lord told us. Go through that door. But go through that door. Make sure that God can identify with the works that you'll be doing as you go through that door. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. So shall it be. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, praise God, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, thank you, hallelujah, glory to God, glory, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, he is the Lord, he changed not, he is the Lord, he changed not, Hallelujah, he is Jehovah, I am that I am, he is the Lord, he changed not, hallelujah, he is Jehovah, glory to his name, he is the Lord, he changed not, he is the Lord, I am that I am. He's the Lord, He changed not. Sing with me, you are the Lord. You changed not. You are Jehovah, I am that I am. He changed not. You are the Lord, you changed not. I am that I am. You changed not. Hallelujah. Tell me who has the final say. Jehovah has the final say in your life. Tell me who has the final say. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turned my life around for good. He turns my life around for good. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turn my life around. Adonai turn our life around. Papa God, he makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. Brother, tell me who has the final say in your life. Jehovah has the final say for me. Sister, tell me. The final say in your life, Jehovah has the final say in my life. Tell me who has the final say in our life. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turn my life around. Jehovah turn my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turn my life around for good. Jehovah turn your life around for greatness. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. Somebody say, Jehovah has the final say. Somebody say, Jehovah has the final say. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He has the final say. Anyone that is not happy with what we are saying can go and hug the transformer or kiss a life wire. Because Jehovah has a final say in your life and there is nothing anybody can do about it. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, move forward with glory. Move forward with the mercy of God. Move forward with favor. And nothing shall by any means hurt you in jesus name so shall it be in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise god praise god hallelujah praise god hallelujah somebody if you're under the sound of my voice shout a big hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah thank you jesus somebody type the word backward never 
Hallelujah. Prophesy the word backward never. You want to type that word nine times. Backward never. Join me. Backward never. You will never experience any kind of backwardness in Jesus' name. Backward never. In Jesus, it will never be your portion. Backward never. Help me to type that word. Backward never. You will never experience any form of, any type of backwardness in the name of Jesus Christ. Backward never. You are going forward. You are going forward. Backward never. In your business, backward never. In your marriage, backward never. In your relationships, backward never. Never in Jesus' name. Your children, backward never for them. Never will they experience backwardness in Jesus' name. Somebody put backward never. Backward never. Anyone that is not happy with what we are saying can go and hug the transformer or kiss a life wire. Backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Backward never. Magadalagaba. Jagada. Backward never. Backward never, backward never in Jesus' name. No more will you know the meaning of backwardness. You only have appointment with what? You have appointment with the glory of God. You have appointment with the power of God. You're going, you're moving forward. You will never know the meaning of backwardness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Backward never. Everyone that have been waiting on the Lord, everyone that have been fasting in Jesus' name, the Lord accept your fasting and make you go forward only. Backward never. If any man places his hand on the plow and look back. Jesus says, not fit for the kingdom. That will not be your description in Jesus' name. You will not have anything to do with backwardness. It can never be your portion. With all of your heart, you will trust God and you will accept his purpose and plan for your life. You will accept the destiny of God for you. You are moving forward and never backward in Jesus' name. So shall it be. So somebody backward never. How would you explain the word backward never? Very quickly, man of God, woman of God, the word backward Backward never. How would you explain? How would you explain? Backward never. How would you explain very quickly? We have limited time for this session. Praise God. Backward never. How would you explain? Backward never. Backward never. If you're under the sound of my voice, as the Lord is prophesying through you, remember to put prayer, put prayer, prayer, put prayer, prayer, prayer. Backward never. Backward never. I see God turning your story around. I see God beautifying you beautifying you for his namesake. Bible said that the Lord lead us through the path of righteousness for his namesake. I see God beautifying you and beautifying the works of your hand for his namesake. Backward never in Jesus name. Backwardness will not be mentioned once when it has to do with you. Backwardness can never be mentioned once when it has to do with you. Backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, man of God, woman of God, I have limited time for this session. Amen. Backward never. How would you expand that very quickly? Thank you, Jesus. Backward never. Simply looking back, thinking backward, you know, backwardly, you know, um, allowing the things that are, are, are tied to the past to hold one bound, come on, no form of backwardness as you step out, man of God. No form of backwardness. In fact, you need to see how fierce those, those um, powers are that are at the back. You don't want to identify with any power whatsoever that is standing at the back. Because you, you have appointment with the future. You have appointment with tomorrow. You have appointment with Christ. And Christ is leading you. Keep going. Hallelujah. The light is leading the light is leading. The light of God is leading you. Hallelujah. The light of God is leading you and you are going forward, not backward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, man of God. Yes, woman of God. Yes, Mikala Dayagaba. O Zantere Bali Katalio. O Ragaba e Kalimosi Kaba Jaketelie. Litrele Ketelimosu Kaba. Litrele Ketelie in Kaladosi. O Ragaba. Forward ever. Backward never. How would you explain the word backward? The word backward. Backward never. How will I explain the word by backward? In delicatalius. <laughs> I love this from Terry Brown. God bless you, Terry Brown. Terry Brown says, yes, the light is leading. So, 
Once the light is leading, you have no fellowship, you have no, there's no need to even look back. When Christ is leading you, you will no matter, let me tell you, the worst the previous events can be, they can only be a, a learning curve for you and for me. They can only be a learning curve for you and for me. A learning curve, but not a deterrent in any form. Cannot deter you. Hallelujah. So backward never. How would you put backward never in your words? How would you put backward never in your words? This is the time to bless somebody. If the Lord gives you the grace and gives you a word to speak, go ahead at this point in time in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Come on. Try the word. He is a lamb unto your feet. Praise God. Praise God. Try the word. is a lamb unto your feet. Praise God. And that is it. Backward never. No looking back at any point in time, at any point in time, at any stage of life. Hallelujah. Backward never. Praise God. Forward ever. Backward never. Backward never. Forward ever. I see somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. I have never seen somebody running in life in any sporting event. I've never seen somebody running looking back and become and, and come first. I've never seen somebody running in any sporting event looking back and being able to make success. Every time they will stumble and fall. Somebody under the sound of my voice. The power of looking back ends here. It terminates here in Jesus' name. I say the power of looking back the power of looking back terminates here and now you're not looking back in jesus name so shall it be you're heading up you have appointment with tomorrow and you are getting to that your tomorrow in jesus name so shall it be amen so i'm not going to expand the word forward why because yesterday we dwelled very well on the word forward ever so today we're merging the two there are situations where people find themselves and it's a choice of backward or forward. It's a choice of moving backward or forward. Today, I am here to get somebody into the understanding of moving forward. No matter the circumstance, no matter the situation. Trust the God that you are in fraternity with. Trust the God that you have become one with. Trust the Christ that you are in. Because Bible say, if any man be in Christ, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. So if you are in Christ, it becomes a light unto you. It becomes a lamb unto you. It becomes the shining guide unto you. Trust Christ that is in you and keep focus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, we want to look at a case study of what happened. A situation whereby it was a contemplation of backward or forward. Exodus chapter 14. Somebody come with me. Exodus chapter 14. So the people of God had a choice before them. A choice of moving forward or a choice of going back. And met all the people, sometimes I know humanly we say that majority carries the vote. Not every time. Sometimes majority could be very wrong. Majority could be very wrong. In Exodus chapter 14, majority wanted to return. Majority wanted backward. Majority was 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 ready to go backward, but the Lord said that there was no need for that backwardness that is forward ever. Somebody, I prophesy into your life. Maybe all your friends are pointing backward to you. Go back to go back to go back to. You're not going back to anything. My God is pointing you forward, and is forward you're going in Jesus' name. Let's read the scripture so that it's more clearer to everyone lead, listening to me and so that we can study very quickly. We're coming back to round up in a few minutes with prayers. It says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Okay, this is Exodus 14 verse 15. Now, before this verse 15, where Moses cried unto God, I will tell you what happened very soon. Let me read verse 15. It said, And the Lord said unto him, Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel. This is God talking. Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. That's it. All of them want to go back. Everyone was ready to return. But the Lord said, Go forward. And God sent me to tell somebody here, this month, they say, ah, what I could not cover in seven months, what I could not achieve in, in seven months, this is now the eighth month. Ah, I think I should go and try the things my friends are trying. I am telling you in the name of Jesus Christ, go forward. Carry on doing what God asks you to do. Go forward. 
I launch you with the power of the Holy Spirit. I launch you with the grace of God in your bones. I launch you with the celestial power. Go forward. Keep going. Ma Gaiba. Go because God is going to meet up with you very soon. Don't even cut corners. Don't try it. Don't give it a second thought. You've started with God. You've come this far with God. Carry on with God. Hallelujah. Okay, if you check verse 14, if you check verse 11, verse 13, and verse 14. So this Exodus 14, verse 11, verse 12, verse 13, and 14. This same Exodus 14. In verse 11 and 12 and 13, the people cried to Moses. At the verse 13, Moses spoke. But verse 11 and 12, the people, all of them cried and said, Moses, is this not what we were telling you? Did we not tell you to leave us in Egypt? Is it because they did not have grave? Or is it because of this? Didn't you see how we were eating? Can't you see that we were enjoying ourselves with cucumber and what have you? And please, tell me if cucumber is food. He said, we're having it. And would have died and we'll have a grave. Now you brought us to the wilderness so that we can die and we'll not have grave. That was what they told Moses, Exodus 14, verse 11 and 12. And verse 13, Exodus spoke by faith. Sorry, Moses spoke by faith in Exodus 14, verse 13. He told them, he said, listen, you see these enemies that you're seeing today, you will never see them again. I prophesy into the life of somebody. Every enemy that you are seeing today, you will never see again in your life. Go forward. Now, when Moses was speaking, he was speaking by faith. And so some people, you can see, they are typing by faith. They are putting amen. They are shouting hallelujah. They are doing a lot of things by faith. But God will make your faith a reality. God will make your faith a reality. Especially if you are in God, if you are in Christ. I see by God make your faith a reality starting from this month. Because you are starting this month with God. You are starting this month in Christ. You are starting and your testimony will stand out. In Jesus Christ, your testimony will stand out. The Lord said, Don't cry unto me, Moses. Tell the people to move forward. Don't cry concerning your son. Tell your son to move forward. Don't cry concerning your daughter. Tell your daughter to move forward. Don't cry because of your husband. Encourage your husband to carry on to move forward. Don't cry because of your wife. Encourage your wife to move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't cry because of your pastor. Encourage that pastor to move forward. Pastor, Emma Banuje, don't cry because of your congregation. Encourage them with the word of God to move forward. Forward? That forward is a reality. It must happen. It must be. It must surely happen. That forward is a reality for us. And you're getting there. Man of God, you're getting there. Woman of God, you're getting there. That forward is real. You're getting there. You're getting there. By fire, by force, you're getting there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Verse 16. But lift thou up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on a dry ground in the midst of the sea. And the Egyptians shall know, verse 18, that I am the Lord, when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariot, and upon his horsemen. Verse 19, and the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them, removed and went behind them. The angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud went from before their faces and stood behind them. Went from before their face and stood behind them. And it came to pass. It came to pass. And it came between the camp of Egyptians and the camp of Israelites. It came in between the camp of Egyptians and the camp of Israelites. And it, and it was a cloud and a darkness to them. They saw it as a cloud and a darkness. It was a cloud and a darkness to them. They saw a cloud and a darkness, but it gave light by night to those. To, to it gave light by night to God's people, to these. 
to those who believe in God, to the other side, it was a cloud and darkness. But to the children of God, it gave light to them, praise God, so that the one came not near the other all the night. It made a demarcation between God's people and those who were seeking to hurt God's people. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all the night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. Hallelujah. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and waters were a wall unto them on the right and the water was a wall unto them on the left hallelujah and the Egyptian pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea even all Pharaoh's horses his chariots and his horsemen and took off their chariots wing that they dragged them heavily so the Egyptian said let us flee from the face of the Israelites. For the God Almighty that they serve, fight for them against us, against the Egyptians. Hallelujah. The Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out your hand a second time over the sea, that the waters may, what, may come again together and close up on the Egyptians. Hallelujah. Their chariots and their horsemen. And Moses did in verse 27. And of course, Pharaoh and his men died in the water. Hallelujah. And the water returned and covered the chariot, the horses, and all the hosts of Pharaoh's, you know, Pharaoh's um, chariot and men. And till today, the Lord took his honor over them. Now, I will prophesy over somebody. I will prophesy. Praise God. Bible said that in verse in, in in verse 16 the Lord told him to lift up the rod and stretch it over the sea and divide it somebody start to put in your prayer mandate now it stands for prayer put in your prayer mandate as we start to round up put in your prayer your prayer prayer what is that thing that wants to take you back what is that thing that wants to make you look back what is that thing that wants to stop the door that God has opened before you put in stretch forth your uh, stretch forth your rod right now. Put in prayer. Put in prayer. Stretch forth your rod right now over the sea. Divide it. Command everything in the name of Jesus. I command everything that have been an obstacle in your life, in your business, that have been an obstacle in your marriage, that have been an obstacle to you getting your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the power of God to remove it. Magadalagaba to remove it. To remove it in the name of Jesus Christ. Kasha Talibos. O Zagedelimosikaba. O Ragababa. I command it to be removed. I'm commanding. Verse 19 said that the angel of God that was leading the people came and stood in between God's people and their enemy. And he gave them, even the cloud also came in between God's people and their enemy. So to the enemy, he gave darkness. And to these people, he gave light. I prophesy anything. Any covenant of death and hell that have been chasing you, every ancestral causes that have been chasing you, every evil covenant that have been chasing you, every evil covenant, every evil altar that have sought after your promotion, every evil altar, I command the angel of God that have been leading to come in between and make a difference between you and such backwardness. Backward, remain backward. While you move forward because you belong to the forefront, you belong to Christ. Every backwardness, everything. I don't care whether nobody has ever been healed from such diseases. It's none of your business. Nobody has ever been healed. That is backward. The Lord make a demarcation with such story, with such events. You never listen to that. Listen to the fact that by his stripes you are healed. You understand? Listen to Isaiah 53 verse 5. By his stripes you are healed. You are going forward. By sight you are here. That is a shining light of healing before you. Listen to Isaiah 58 verse 8. It says your light will break forth. And healing will spring forth in your body. So listen to that scripture. Because like a pillar is shining light to you. And, and I see healing. I see healing in your bones. I see healing in your bones in your body. I see healing of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grab your bottle of water right now. You know we are praying with a bottle of water today. Grab your bottle of water very quickly. Water was used by the power of God to quench the enemy, to destroy the enemy, 
Water made way for the people to go and enjoy themselves. And the water closed and killed the enemy. This water you're going to drink today will make way for you. It will make way for you. The Lord by his mercies will make way through this water for you. Healing will come to you. Wealth will come to you. Prosperity with responsibility will come to you. Joy will come to you. Increase will come to you. But this same water as it goes into your system in Jesus name. It will start to destroy every enemy of your destiny. Any enemy of your destiny that is drinking water, this water as he killed Pharaoh and all his men that sought the life of God's people. That's how the water will fight for, your, for you and fight to bring the purpose of God in your life. If you are having miscarriage, this water will destroy whatever is causing the miscarriage in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are having any form of pain, this water will destroy that pain in your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God was partnering physically with, with water in front of everyone. Everybody saw the water. And the water was cooperating. This is not the first time God will use water like this. Hallelujah. After this time, again in Numbers chapter 11, Numbers chapter 11, God used water again. This time God used water to produce food. This time, God did not use water to destroy enemy and to make a way for God's people. God used water to produce Kentucky Fried Chicken. In Numbers chapter 11, check it out when you have the time. In the book of Numbers, God always used water as often as possible. In, in Acts chapter, in Luke chapter 5, God used water again. This time, God used water to bring wealth and prosperity into the life of Peter. He brought, he, he caught several fishes that his boat was sinking. Somebody, as you drink this water with us, the life of your business must turn around. Your marriage must turn around. Your children's life must turn around. As you sprinkle it in your home, as you bathe with it, as you drink it, you have, you wake up, you wake up with a new understanding of the mercy of God. The angel of the Lord that have been leading you. Majagadalagaba. The angel of God that have been leading you. The angel of God that has been leading you in Jesus' name. You do not look track. You do not lose track of that angel. Everyone that is carrying any form of high blood, any form of disturbance. I don't want to promote the name. If you have high blood pressure, if you have a, if you have high sugar, whatever you may have, this water will destroy, will fight the enemies of God in your body. It will give you peace and it will destroy all the enemies of your body. You will go to the toilet. You will pass them out. You will sweat them out from the pores of your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Get your bottle of water ready. Hallelujah. Somebody join me. Start to say what you are trusting God for. What do you want God to partner and do in your life? Start to mention specifically. Put prayer, put prayer, prayer. Put prayer, prayer, prayer. As we are rounding on focus, so as we are rounding on focus, put prayer, put prayer, prayer, put prayer, prayer, pray. Alpha Omega Agbani Lambato as Soromaya Atofarati Bioki. Bani Bani Tikin Dani Jehovah Maga da Lagaya da Lagaba. Borian Talimosuka is a get delimo or talimosika and tali. Everyone under the sound of my voice that you have brought and given the opportunity to connect into onto this program, whether live or recorded. Jehovah. Lord God Almighty, let the Spirit of the Lord move over the face of the deep. May God let the Spirit of the Lord move over the face of the deep, move over the water in the name of Jesus Christ. That this man, as they drink Jehovah, again, you will release the power for your people to move forward, to go through the door that you have opened in Jesus' name, and they will not look backward. Every adversary, ha, every other. Every adversary, every other, other pod, you enemy, Lord. That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what my people will say. Enemies, sometimes, you see, so enemies are so many. You think what I'm saying is not scriptural? When I was growing up, I also thought such language was not scriptural. But I'm telling you, come with me, First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. You see it there. First Corinthians 16, I mean to say, not 6, 16. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. You will see it, that God has opened a door before you. But there are several enemies. Enemies like the ones we read here in Exodus chapter 14. But the power of God. The angel of God. The power of God. The angel of God. The water. 
that you are connecting and they will connect to because they drink water in your houses in the name of Jesus Christ will put them at your back you will never hear of them again why do you move forward in Jesus name for a great door and effectual is open unto me is open unto me confirming Revelation chapter 3 verse 8 is open unto me and there are many adversaries today as you drink the Lord take care of every adversaries of your life go go attack go go enemies known and unknown go go obstacle whatsoever every obstacle whatsoever financial emotional spiritual medical the lord remove in the name of jesus christ the lord remove in the name of jesus christ wherever you may be join me plead the blood of jesus plead the blood of jesus christ seven times I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me. Holy Spirit, take control, take over seven times. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. If you believe, go bandit babo. If you believe, let us drink together in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. And as you drink, receive your deliverance, receive your healing, receive your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. If only you believe. If only you believe. Please put in your prayer mandate, these few minutes we have, Please put in your prayer mandate. If you would like to give your life to Jesus Christ, stretch forth your hand towards me right now. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I confess any sin, every sin that I've committed knowingly and unknowingly. Wash me clean with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life in Jesus' name. Say it right now that any covenant, every covenant, that any form of covenant, every covenant that I have entered into, knowingly and unknowingly, any covenant, every covenant entered into on my behalf, may the power of the blood of Jesus destroy. And may the power of the Holy Spirit destroy. Say with me, I believe Jesus died for me, was buried for my sake, and for my sake he was lifted from the grave. Say, I believe in my heart, I confess with my mouth, so I find salvation. Whatever you may be, man of God, woman of God, join me. Say, I am born again. Say, I am born again. Say, I am born again, and it is binding in the name of Jesus Christ. So you are now a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. God bless you. If you would like to dedicate your life unto God, say with me, say, I dedicate. Say, I dedicate. Say, I dedicate my life unto you, Alpha, Omega, and it is binding in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please join me to congratulate these ones that have given their life to Jesus Christ. One of the greatest miracles is salvation. Hallelujah. I'm always excited when people give their life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody, we have another soldier. We are soldiers of Christ in the house. Hallelujah. Please celebrate God. Celebrate God. Celebrate God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Look for a Bible believing church. Make sure you're part of the church and you give your all into the work of God. Amen. And please. Always ensure that you're part of what is happening on this mountain. Hallelujah. So make sure in Jesus' name that you're always coming to the mountain and be a blessing on this mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Allow God to use you so greatly. Amen. God bless you. Okay, we're going to round up completely as we pray and honor God and give him all the praise. Okay, we're going to pray completely and honor God and give him all the praise. Wherever you may be, bow down heads as we pray. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end, ancient of this, I want to thank you for every man of God, woman of God. I thank you for your word. I thank you for the power of your word. Everyone in the hospital, prison, home, I release your power and glory upon their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm thanking you, oh God, for today. I'm thanking you for the miracle of today, the blessings of today, the breakthroughs of today. I'm thanking you, oh God, for every man of God, woman of God, every father, every mother, every boy every girl i'm thanking for every orphan i'm thanking for single parents i'm thanking you ancient of this alpha and omega people internally and externally displaced i'm thanking you for every leader of families community i'm thanking you oh god for leaders of nations i'm thanking you for agencies i'm thanking you for every businessman businesswoman everyone in contract everyone oh god about their career work 
I'm thanking you for everything. I'm even thanking you for those who are in ministry. Ancient of this Alpha and Omega, empower your people to face forward only, to go through the doors that you have opened unto them. Father, let your angel, O oh God, make a demarcation between their enemies and themselves. Daddy, their enemies will continue to see darkness while, Lord, your angel shines the light before them of your word, the light of your healing, the light of prosperity, the light of faithfully serving you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The message we have heard today will not stand against us. And everyone that's giving their life unto you, Lord God Almighty, you will sustain. Father, I pray for everyone that is giving tithe, everyone that is giving offering, everyone that is making this broadcast a success, everyone that is supporting, everyone that is typing, everyone that is pressing emoticons, everyone that is sharing the broadcast, everyone that is praying along with the apostle, whether in this live broadcast or recorded. Ancient of this beginning and the end, I am that I am. Great rewarder. Let eternity not fail to reward your people. Let eternity not fail to reward your people. Let eternity not fail to reward your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, open the windows of heaven over your people. Pour them out a blessing they cannot contain. Rebuke, O oh Lord, rebuke. Rebuke the devourer for your sin. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you for today's broadcast. Thank you for the success. Thank you, O oh God, for making it what you want it to be. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have decreed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! Glory! Thank you, Jesus. I celebrate you, man of God. I celebrate you, woman of God. I celebrate anyone, everyone, under the sound of my voice. God bless you. My name is Apostle Jumbo Isong, and I'm thanking God for His grace anchoring on this particular mountain, holy, holy mountain, called Missionary Outreach Mountain of Praise, Preaching, and Prayer. And by the way, by his grace, I'm chaplain commander. And I thank God for his grace. And I thank God for helping me be a blessing each time to you as you are a blessing unto me. Okay? If you needed counseling, if you needed to have a chat with the apostle, if you needed interpretation of dream by the power of the Holy Spirit, then please you can leave me a message on my page, on the page um, where we're having this broadcast, Missionary Outreach Mountain of Praise, Preaching and Prayer. You can leave me a message on that messenger. You can leave me a, mes a message on my Facebook messenger. And you can leave me a message on my WhatsApp. Okay, that is plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four. Leave me a message on this and the apostle will contact you ASAP one-on-one. -on -one. God bless you. God honor you. Everyone God have used today to make today a success. I thank God for your life. Every man of God, every comment I am seeing and I'm praying alone. And I'm lifting you unto God. God bless you. Do not miss the next broadcast which is on Thursday. On Thursday is going to be another dimension of deliverance. And I know that he that had started this great work with us to perfect it. In the name of Jesus Christ. You out there, cities out there, homes out there. We are coming and we are bringing the power of God as he has commanded us in Jesus' name. Every home we are believing that God will grant us the grace to bring the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ there. We thank God for the charity God is helping us to, to, to do. And we're thanking God for the great work he's using us to do. Everyone, I celebrate you. God bless you. In case you're watching this particular broadcast outside the Facebook platform and you wanted to locate us on Facebook, just come down to Facebook, type at Jumbo Isong, that is at J-U-M-B-O-I-S-O-N-G as one word. If you put that into the search engine of Facebook, once you search for it, the mountain will come up, that is the missionary outreach mountain will come up and you can peruse other recordings. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. I live in the hands of the Holy Spirit. I salute, I salute you. If you are able to type something in the next less than a minute. If I see you type something, I will appreciate you. But know this, that I appreciate everyone. And God appreciates each and every one of us even much more. God bless you, Christiana D. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Connie. Oh, God bless you. Evangelist, engineer, Bob, God bless you. God honor you. God lift you up. Many powerful names I've seen already in the house. God bless you. God honor you. God lift you up. Connie, oh, God bless you. Orlando, God bless you. Anne Marie, God bless you. Everyone under the sound of my voice, please. I really want to call all the names. 
Let me give it a go. Let's see if we can try call as much as we can. Uh, let's see. You type and then I'll be able to call. I have less than another one more minute to go as we round up. Praise God. But please, before I call any other name, okay, God bless you, Panduleni N. God bless you, Panduleni. God bless you, Elizabeth N. God bless you. God bless you, Sarah K. I remember seeing Sarah K. God bless you. 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 Anyone, everyone that is sound of my voice. God bless you, A. Pelumi. God bless you, man of God. God lift you up. God honor you. God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you. God bless you, everyone. Praying along with the apostle, whether in this live broadcast or the recorded, I lift up everyone before the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit, His presence is upon us in Jesus' name. Please permit me to sign up my usual way. God punish the devil, punish, punish, punish. The Lord rebuke the devil, rebuke, rebuke, rebuke in Jesus' name. Baruch Hashem Adonai, meaning blessed be the name of God. God bless you. God bless you. I live in the hands of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Bye bye.